Hello friends, I'm Christopher the Midwest Man Mountain. Welcome to my compost pile! In today's short video, we're going to go over some of the most common do's and don'ts for what to put into a compost pile, as well as talk about the important balance of carbon to nitrogen materials. Some good examples of carbon-rich material, or brown material, are coffee grounds, newspaper, dry leaves, and small twigs. You want a 2 to 1 ratio of carbon-rich material to nitrogen-rich material. This is going to provide a light, fluffy texture to your compost, which will help aerate your soil. Some examples of nitrogen-rich or green material are going to be grass clippings or veggie scraps from your kitchen. It's great to get those kitchen scraps out into your compost by using a pail like this. Try to find one that's stainless steel or ceramic that has a nice carbon filter on the inside. That will help with any smells that you have. Here's a quick list of do's for the compost. Do compost shredded paper, lawn scraps, fruit and vegetable peelings, tea leaves and coffee grounds, some sawdust, but be sure that you add it in layers to avoid clumping, herbivore refuse, like that coming from cows, rabbits, and chicken, dry brown leaves, newspaper, eggshells, hay, pine needles, garden clippings, corn cobs, seaweed, hair, apple cores, wine and beer that's gone bad, expired spices, and wood fire ash. And here's a quick list of don'ts for the compost pile. Don't compost things like carnivore refuse, like dog droppings, meat, weeds that still have their seeds, anything with blight, like a bad looking tomato, sawdust from plywood or pressure treated wood, things that are contaminated with oils, fish, bones, excess citrus and onions because they can be harmful to worms, glossy paper, coal ash because of sulfur, large branches, grease, cooking oil, bread products, kitty litter, dairy products, walnuts, lime, and non-biodegradable materials. Composting can be as complicated or as simple as you want, but these tips should definitely help you get started. So is there anything I missed? Be sure to let me know in the comment section below. While you're here, be sure to subscribe to Home and Garden for Mere Mortals and then go check out my channel, The Midwest Man Mountain. Thanks a lot. See you next month. Bye! Summer is coming to an end and soon we're going to have to get rid of all this greenery in the garden, but what to do with it? If you're like me, you'll consider composting. Today I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the matter. Let's get started. So what exactly is...